Hey kindergarten, today's lesson is called Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. I wonder if you can guess what it's going to be about. Our first vocabulary word is generate. Generate, generate means to make or to create. So windmills, right, generate energy when they go in circles like that. Or a bake sale will generate enough money to pay for a class trip, right? Generate, to make or to create. Product. Products are things that are made. So for example, toilet paper or paper towels are products that are made from trees, right? Because they're made out of this like papery material that we get from trees. Those are products. To recycle is to turn trash into something else to be used instead of just throwing it away. So if I recycle my plastic water bottle, it'll be used to make something new, like a plastic cup. Whereas we know that if we throw it in the trash, it'll go to the dump and get buried. But if you recycle it, it gets turned into something new. Reduce means to use less of something, okay? to use less of something. So if you want to reduce the amount of paper you use because that will help save trees, then maybe you want to be extra careful when you're writing your words and keep them small so you don't use up so much paper. And reuse. This is our last word and it means to use something again. So I might reuse a water bottle over and over again instead of using ones that I have to throw away, right? So reuse means to use it again. It is really interesting. So we learned a lot about garbage in the second read aloud that we did in this domain. You learned about large amounts of garbage that are dumped and then buried in landfills, okay? But what do you think happens if landfills get so full they have no more space for the garbage? Yeah, you're right. They get they have to be closed down. And then why can landfills be dangerous? What could be dangerous about them? Well, they release hazardous gases and chemicals from the decaying trash that can get into land, water, and air. It can make our trees and our plants sick and us sick. Now, do you think there are any other things that can be done with garbage so that there are fewer and or smaller landfills? Hmm. I wonder if you can think of some other things that you could do instead of throwing things away. Well, today you're gonna learn about three ways in which you can help create less garbage in landfills, okay? We're gonna learn about how to reduce, reuse, recycle, okay? I'm excited about it. Repeat after me. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I think you're going to like it. Listen today to find out which ways reducing, reusing, and recycling can help conserve or protect natural resources. Here we go. So kids, how much trash does the earth have to deal with every year? Let me ask that again. How much trash do you think people on earth generate or make each year? Well, I'm not here to scold you or to try to make you feel bad, but let's just say that people generate an extremely large amount of trash. People are really the only creatures on the planet who generate any trash. You won't see a bear or a deer putting trash in a trash can. You won't see a monkey in the jungle using a paper napkin to wipe her face, and you probably won't see dogs and cats drinking their water out of plastic water bottles, right? People make trash, so they're the ones who are responsible for taking care of it. Every year, people in the United States generate billions of bags full of trash, plus all kinds of other trash that doesn't fit into bags, like old refrigerators and broken furniture. Imagine how much trash is generated all over the world. Where does all that trash end up? Can you remember the place in this picture? It's a landfill. There is an incredible amount of trash buried in landfills, but you all can help. How is this picture different from the picture of the landfill? Let's look at it again. Landfill. What do you think? How are they different? 
well, wouldn't it be nice if we could keep as much land as possible clean and green like the place in this picture? Can you think of ways you can cut the amount of trash you throw away? Well, I'm about to teach you three important words. If you pay close attention and try to put some of my words into action, then you can really help make an important difference in the world. Those three words are reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. When you reduce the amount you use of something, you use less of it. What do you see in this picture? Hmm. On the left, it's a roll of paper towels, and on the right, it's a paper towel, towel dispenser, like the ones you might use in a restroom at your school or at any public building. Why do you think I'm showing you these pictures? What does that have to do with the word reduce? Well, let's say you wash your hands in the restroom. Instead of grabbing a huge hunk of paper towels, you could try just using one. By reducing the number of paper towels that you use, you can do two very important things. First, you'll reduce the number of trees that get cut down to make paper towels, and that's a really good thing. Second, you will reduce the amount of trash that goes into a landfill. So remember, whether you're using paper towels, toilet paper, or any other kind of paper, reduce, reduce, reduce. Don't use more than you really need. Hmm, what does it mean to reuse something? It means you can use it again. If you try, you can probably think of lots of ways to reuse paper. Do you like to draw? Before you ball up a piece of used paper and throw it away, flip it over and see if there's anything on the back. If it's blank, draw a picture on the other side, like this nice one that a child drew of a house on a bright spring day. Then take it home and hang it up on the refrigerator or a bulletin board. Trust me, it'll look great and nobody will even care that there's something on the other side. Reducing and reusing are two important ways to make sure that you don't spend, send too much trash off to the landfill. But the very best way is by recycling. This is the recycling symbol. And a symbol is a picture that represents a word or an idea. The arrows in this symbol remind you that many things can usually be made into other things. Recycling is sort of like reusing. When you recycle something, however, it often gets made into something completely different. For example, your plastic juice bottle can be recycled and made into something else that is plastic. All the plastic that is collected in recycling bins is taken to factories where it's melted down into liquid plastic and then made into something else. So a plastic bottle that you put in the recycling bin might end up as part of a new plastic toy. Now that you know what it looks like, you might start noticing the recycling symbol in more places. Often you'll see these three arrows on bins like this one, so you'll know to put recyclable materials in it. A recycling bin is kind of like a trash can, except the things you put in there won't go to a landfill. They will be turned into other things. Be sure to empty the containers and rinse them if possible before putting them in a recycling bin. Here is a picture of different things that most people use almost every day. All of these things can be recycled. Newspapers, mail, cardboard boxes are all paper products. All of them come from trees and all of them can be recycled instead of thrown into the trash can. Glass bottles and jars, aluminum soda cans, metal soup cans, plastic bottles are all recyclable too. What's more, all of these things are actually made from natural resources, which means the more you recycle, the more natural resources you conserve. Remember, when we conserve something, we save or protect it, so you can save some natural resources. You might be wondering, why does all that trash end up in landfills if most of it can actually be reused or recycled? It's a good question to ask, and it's one that you'll learn about later. For now, however, I just want you to make sure that you remember those three important R words. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay, don't forget them. Okay, go ahead and click on the exit ticket below, and I hope you enjoyed hearing about recycling. See you later, kindergarten.